God ever, backward never, great effect, great, I love you. There's only one great effect in the universe, another great effect, is a counterfeit, great, 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 great. This is Nigeria, just because I'm on TV now. Person who no get work is checking to see if my watch is original. This is Nigeria, where am Madam Philomena? Money vanished for your office, 36 million, you tossing Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Bridget Techpo. Thank you very much for stopping by today. If it's your first time, please ensure that you click on that subscription button. It's a red button down there. And if you click on the bell sign, you get notification whenever I post my vlogs. Thank you for joining me today. So that song you just heard is um, it's uh, it's my alma mater's um, anthem. It's our anthem. So great Ife. That's my alma mater where I had my first degree. I finished from Ife in um, 1998. Going to that school was one of the best experience of my life. I mean, come on, guys, you know. All of you who went to Ife know there are uni in Nigeria and there are uni. Ife is one of those ones that was high, high, high up there in terms of, you know, the setting of the school, the environment, the quality of the teaching, everything was top notch. When I went there, I mean, three members of my family went to Ife. My older sister went to Ife. Um, way back he's much older than me my immediate elder brother went to ife he did only one year before he left so i'm like the third person in the family that went to ife ife was big in my family so i have i have love for that uni i have big love for that uni so you can imagine my surprise a couple of months ago the scandal about this um lecturer broke it's professor richard akindele for those of you who didn't know who was demanding uh, sex from, from a female student before he can give her mark. So he was deliberately failing her so that she, she can sleep with him. It was a very big scandal. So I'm just going to pause now and play the audio. It was an audio, um, audio that was leaked. The female involved leaked the audio and it became a big story all over social media. So I'm just going to play it and then I'll come back with the rest of my thoughts. They are just starting today. When would you be in the office, office today? That will be after the exam at 4 30. I will finish the exam at 4 30. So, let me 5. I should be in the office. Should I come by 5? 
Kiju no komandi, a ti mi isto kvestioni. E, ho stupit kvestion, a a. Kiju areći. But why did you tell me you are, you are doing it? Why did you tell me? I was doing? really doing my period that day. I swear to God, Professor, I, can do the, I, can do I was doing my period. Oh, mentioning my name. Sorry, oh, sorry, my sorry. Name. Um, I was really doing my period, sir. Uh, no, Uncle. Uh, that was almost the end. Now, now I'm not doing my period again. Hmm. That's really sad. Your boyfriend has uh, done it yesterday. Do you think every time someone will be doing it with your boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> Is it every time you do it with your wife? Yes. Is it lie? It's not possible. It's not possible. I'm just joking. Hey, hey. It's not every time. No. Every time, I'm not sure. I know. So what's the form one now? What was it? What's the form one? What's the? What's the form one? Form one is what's the, what's the plan now? Okay, plan. Uh, let's, let's have the first one to do. And then after it, I'll do it for your person. And then we'll do another one tomorrow. Eh? Say, give me a one day, Jenny. Is it not five? We, our agreement is five. Because of. Is it B you want to give me or E? No. Eh? So why would it be five times that you will not come in to find it? That, that's what I would do. Eh? Mm. So, you know what? Let me feel it. I can't, I can't do it five times. So, I'm going to swap for what? No worries. Thank you, sir. So, guys, you can imagine my disappointment, my embarrassment, my, oh my God, my shame, my shaming. When this thing happened, I was like, oh my God, not my uni, not my great if I love that school. I had fond memories of that school. It is a beautiful school. Guys, that school, it made me what I am. <laughs> Let me put it that way. It was a wonderful place to be. And I was there for like, altogether, I was there for like, six seven years because i first had a diploma i had a diploma then and i had a degree and you know nigerian degrees is not the one that you use you just use four years to do you might be doing a four years course but you end up spending five years or six years if you are lucky you spend five years but you never ever graduate on time because of all the nonsense as strike and one strike uh, non-academic uh, uh, union strike and all whatnot that they have there so i really really lo love that school I'm very proud to be great if it. Great, great. So, this yeah, yeah lecturer now disgraced my alma mater, demanding from, for sex from a female student. So, the news was all over the place. It was a big scandal. The man obviously was in trouble. And guess what? The most funny part of the story was that this man is meant to be a pastor. Uh, a pastor. He's behaving like, you see, this is uh, the hypocrisy that I talk about. When I talk about hypocrisy in Nigeria, you see people who cover with religion, they cover with culture, they cover with anything. Underneath it, they are doing so much evil. Imagine blackmailing a, a female student. I mean, how many of them would have done this? But unfortunately for him, it was his unlucky day because this smart girl recorded it and voila. It became a big news everywhere. So he got into trouble. First of all, he was suspended from his post. And then he was arrested. And for once, there was justice. I am I'm, I'm really, really happy that there was justice. Honestly, this man, because women go through a lot in nigeria it's like women are the women are children are the most marginalized group of human beings in africa honestly in nigeria women go through so much it's like somebody posted it on instagram one time and said it's like it's a sin being a girl or being a woman in nigeria it's like a sin what you go through the kind of abuse that people put you they subject you to from when you are a child all sorts of you know projections on you you know all sorts of abuse that you they will they, they were just just it's like being a female is a crime and people take advantage they take advantage of you so much that i mean it's unfair what goes on in that place so when there's a bit of justice i am happy because we don't get it we don't get it often so i'm really ha really happy that eventually this so-called professor that decided to blackmail this female female um student he got what was coming to him i don't know how many people he has done it to he doesn't have my sympathy at all he's a vile and evil man so he got what i mean he got what was coming to him because a lot of them do this and get away i mean those days when i was in infer we used to hear stories i mean it was really good back then 
I don't know. I'm sure it must have been happening in pockets then, but I, I don't think it's as bad as it as it is now because we used to brag. I remember my cousins that were in Uniben, uh, uh, Edsu. In those days, we used to brag and tell them, you push should leave all this year. Yes, schools that you, you call schools that you are going. These are not uni. Come to UFA and see. We have, we have lecturers that have integrity. They didn't demand for nothing. They were, you know, they were in for the course because they believed in the knowledge. They were impacting on the students and they were focused on their jobs and they did not you know ask demand for, for 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 female students to sleep with them they weren't selling unnecessary handouts to raise money or things like that if it was good i'm telling you it was back then when i was there it was so you can imagine you know how i felt i felt really betrayed i'm not gonna lie it's like i took it really personal i was offended <laughs> i was seriously offended that this man had the guts to do this but i was relieved that this smart girl put his his voice out there and trust social media now before you know his picture was everywhere he was flying everywhere it's culminated <laughs> in him being sentenced to two years so the news now the update about is that the oau sex for max that's what they call him they don't call him professor akindele again no they call him oau sex for max you see that's what you do when you are evil and you keep perpetuating evil one day nemesis will catch up with you come on eh? Mm, it works so it's back two years now um i'm reading verbatim here uh it says that a uh, justice maureen hmm, it was a female justice uh, justice maureen <laughs> oh yeah it's of the federal high court in oshogbo sentenced professor richard akindele to 24 months imprisonment for demanding sex from one of his students monica osagi that's the name of the of the young lady that he was demanding sex from Monica Osage. Um, Justice uh, Oyetainu gave the judgment after listening to arguments of counsel to the ICPC and defendant. The sentence follows his change of plea, of plea from not guilty to guilty. Can you imagine? The Yeye man was pleading not guilty before. When they had you on tape, okay, did they manufacture your voice? They manufacture, it was an exchange like you guys heard. They had this exchange. He didn't know that the woman was recording, the, the, the Monica was recording him. Monica, smart girl. Tom, I mean, we should have more of this. If we have more of this, there'll be less of these people, this sort of people who perpetuates this kind of discrimination, abuses all over Nigeria. Honestly, we should have more justice. So yeah, it's a good day for justice. It's a good day for women empowerment. And it's a good day for my great alma mater. I'm just going to leave it here today. Um, if you are from Great Affair, once, once more, shout out, shout out to you. Great! And I'll catch you guys in my next one. I love you. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. This is Nigeria. What's in my area? This is democracy. Political hysteria. Yahoo, yahoo, don't everywhere.